Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are back with my series where we look at the absolute best fighters in the world. I give you five things that make them exceptional with training tips so you can be a little bit more like them or become a little bit more like them with the tips I give you. Now today we are talking by very popular request, Tension the Japanese kickboxing superstar who had a boxing exhibition with Floyd Mayweather. As I understand it, this guy has beat so many people at his weight class. I believe he's two weight classes below me. Undefeated, dynamite style in the ring. Super exciting to watch. Guys, let's dive in to this episode. All right, it's been a while since I've got around to making one of these. I have so many other things on the go on the YouTube channel. This one got sort of pushed to the back, but I'm excited to be back with this series. I love looking at these fighters, looking in depth at what I think makes them so exceptional. If you guys missed this series, you wanna see more of it, make sure you give the video a like, of course, get subscribed, and let's move on to the first thing that makes tension super amazing. And for me, this was easy as I watched him, especially when I watched him fight Rod Tang. Right away I went, holy smokes, this guy's counters, but more specifically his eyesight. Combining the two of those together makes for just a fierce counter punch. Now, what I like to see from him is not just his ability to you know block a shot, block a shot, hit, and then exit, but he stays right in there, which makes him so exciting. His opponent could just be going, ah, throwing away, and tension's in there, and he'll block, he'll block, he'll move, he'll block, he'll hit, he'll move, he'll block, he'll hit. And he's so precise, he's constantly landing right to the jaw, and he's just evading shots. This, in my opinion, is something that we usually only see very high-level boxers being able to pull off. Don't get me wrong, there are many kickboxers who are great at countering, but being able to hit, and then evade, evade, and block, and hit, and then roll, and hit, and hit, and evade, and block. The only other guy that I can think off the top of my head that is very good at this, at the same skill level as tension, is Giorgio Petrosian. Both of these guys really wow me with their counter shots, the precision, and the eyesight which they display is just unparalleled. But of course, guys, I can't just leave it there. I have to talk about how we can train to be a little bit more like these guys. So the first step, would be something along these lines. If I have a partner, let's say I'm working with you guys and I'm gonna go, okay, jab, cross, hook. So I throw the jab, cross, hook and you guys will go slip, slip, slip. So one, two, three, and you have somebody throw that at you and then you come back with your counter shot. So you'll be going outside, outside, under, counter. So if somebody comes one, two, three, you do all that, you throw back. And that's where most people would stop. They would be done. They're like, okay, I evaded, I hit back, let's end it. But the reason these guys are so good, I really believe, is they will do something like slip the jab, slip the cross, slip the hook, counter shot, slip again, block the shot, counter shot. And they're working very long streaming combos, which would allow them to become the fighters they are today. Now, the other alternative is maybe to have somebody put a chest protector on, maybe get some little pool noodles and just kind of slap at you. Boom, boom, and then you, 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 know, you hit that chest protector and then you go back to blocking. <laughs> And just that non-stop hitting, hitting, and then defense, 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 hit, hit, defense, defense, that constant back and forth will make things much easier for you to progress if improving your eyesight and your counters is something you really want to do. But just remember the most important thing this is it's not just slip and hit or hit and roll. It needs to be something more comprehensive like block, hit, 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 Roll, block, hit, hit, roll. Nice long streaming combos. I think that is the key to getting really good, like tension is, at the counter shots. Moving on guys, next point, I want to talk about the variety that tension can bring to the ring. Some people are very good, like let's say Georgia Petrosian, very good at being a smart, smart fighter. And then we have people like Badr Hari, you know, who will take their time, but when they go to explode in, that's pretty much all they can do. It's one enormous explosion of energy, but they don't really go too much into the technique. It's very rare to see somebody like Georgia Petrosian being able to fight like Badr, or Badr fighting like Georgia Petrosian. They have their style and that's kind of it. But with tension, I feel like he has a whole array of ways he can fight. He can bang if he needs to. He can just stand there and just throw down. He can be a technical fighter. He can move around a lot and evade and slip and he can do his clench work and throw people. As I watch numerous fights with him, I go, wow, 
In each fight, I feel like I see a little element of everything. His boxing looks on point, his Muay Thai looks on point, his kickboxing is obviously very, very high level. One of the absolute best in the world. And what I like to see when I started going into his training clips and looking at him is he does training in Thailand. He went to Thailand, it looks like he did training where he's, you know, you know the guys have the big tie pads and he's just kicking and kicking and kicking. And then I'll see him just on hand pads, just working boxing. And sometimes he sits there and he's just, boom, working on power, boom, single shot but then lots of other times he's throwing these big long streaming combos and I think he trains a variety of everything which makes him have the ability to really fight any style he wants and I think this makes him very exceptional because like I already said many people find one style and they kind of stick to it but when I watch him I go whoo this would be a hard guy to prepare for because we don't really know what kind of fight element he's gonna bring and he can move from one area of fighting to the other in moments, we're just talking moments. He can be bouncing around and, bah, 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 and then all of a sudden he sort of moves in and he sits down and boom, boom, boom. And then he backs away and he's playing the long game with the long guard. He's all over the place. How do you prepare for a guy like that? Very impressive. If you guys want to be a little bit more like him, I would suggest just breaking it down. Don't, don't get too overwhelmed by all the options. Start off and go, okay, you know what? I'm gonna work my kickboxing or Muay Thai like normal. And then I'm gonna make sure I put boxing rounds in on the hand pads, in sparring, and then I'll do my clench as well. If you can get those three things down, you're working each of those separately, making sure they're not coming together. When you start breaking things up, you really start to get good at your boxing. If you just do boxing hand pad rounds. And if you strictly do clench rounds, you're gonna to start to excel there. And then you do your normal kickboxing rounds on the pad, bag, sparring. Don't limit yourself to just doing one style. Try the others and improve in different areas. That would be my suggestion. All right, guys, on to our next point. We are talking about tensions, lack of exhaustion, the overall cardio tank he has. When I watched him fight, I went, okay, yes, I recognize that he is a small fighter. And generally the small fighters don't burn out the same way as the big fighters, but it's still impressive to see somebody who can just go and go and go, has that nice explosive fast pace, but doesn't end up drawing back because he's visibly getting tired or exhausted. And I found a clip of tension training, which I really wanna share with you guys, because I've always believed that people pull back a little bit too much in their training. What do I mean by that? Well, I see people on tie pads and you know, boom. They might be hitting hard, but boom, boom, boom and they'll skipping off the round kicks, throwing the knees, and I'm just like, no, that's not the fight pace. That's not the pace you wanna be ready for. So when I saw this clip of tension, I went, okay, I'm gonna throw it up right now. And I went, this is perfect. This is what people need to be doing. Not every time you're doing pad work, but there's a time and a place to add this in. And my favorite way to really go sort of balls to the walls as much as I can is I do one minute rounds with a one minute break and I just do three of them. And they're as hard as I can, 100% sprints. And that's what you see tension doing here. He is pushing and pushing and it's just something that you have to do because you never know what your opponent's gonna do if your opponent comes out 100% and you've only trained 80, 85%, your whole camp is still gonna be a shock to your body and you will not feel in shape. And this style in particular, especially with that big body pad and the guy's just ah, ah, just not taking a rest and just looking exhausted, looking like they're pushing themselves to the edge. This is something you see the Japanese fighters do very, very often if you get in depth and start really watching their training. Pushing just to that next level that you're used to seeing maybe at your own gym. And because I've spent so much time watching Japanese kickboxers, looking up to guys like Masato, Sato, Kohiramaki, I would see them doing their work and go, okay, these guys are exceptional. They're winning K1 titles. Obviously, I need to train like that if I wanna be at the top level. So it's something I've always incorporated into my routine. Tension's doing it as well. I suggest you guys do too. It's unrealistic to make your whole training session this hard. Take small little pad work rounds and add those in and see if you can finish giving 100% for one or two minutes, that's it. Moving on to the next point, I wanna actually reference again the pad work that we just looked at because when I was watching Tension hit, he's a southpaw, so when he's hitting and the pad holder's constantly pressuring him, he cuts that nice angle. And he does this many times when he fights Rod Tang and he fights many of the other guys. It works better for him because he is the southpaw and so many fighters are orthodox that it gives him that advantage of being able to practice moving to the outside of the orthodox left foot and so many guys are gonna be in that stance that it will work for him probably 19 out of 20 times. But angles are so important. 
and we can still manage to use them. Somebody sort of bull rushes you, you take your back foot, you kick it out to the side, and you've just created an angle for them to pass through. If somebody gets right in your face and they are just pressuring against you right here, instead of always pushing back and just staying here, I push my weight in and then I release and I angle and as they sort of tip forward, I'll have the opportunity to counter shot, come up the middle, or just completely disengage off on an angle where the guy then has to go, oh shoot, he's over there now, make the adjustment. As I look at the best fighters in the world and I try and dissect why they're so good, I often notice little things like this, and with tension it was just, he's really good at cutting that angle. There's many other things with his footwork that he's good at, but it's that angle that impresses me because it's something we don't see with many kickboxers. As I just demonstrated on Bob, if this is something you wanna work, the easiest way is wait for somebody to come towards you, meet them so the, the two forces, your force and their force sort of collide for a second and then just release very quickly after you give them a good push. They'll probably push back, I push, they push back and then I angle and let them follow through. This is something that you can utilize if you have a good pad holder, the pad holder you know, will be boop, 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 boop and then he should just put his hands up and just start walking towards you and if you do nothing, He's going to walk right into your forearms, but if you're even ahead of the game and you see this guy walking in, you just go, oh, okay, cut the angle, bat the hand to the side. Cutting that angle is something you don't see many fighters do. If you can get it down, it will certainly give you an edge. It is something that I am honestly not that exceptional at. I haven't pushed it a lot in my training, and a lot of times I will just meet people square on, but I do know it's a fault of mine, and cutting an angle is a very advantageous position to end up in. So try it out, guys. I think if you work it and you have a good pad holder, who will push towards you that you will find it is something beneficial very worthwhile having in your overall game and a quick pause guys before we move on to our final point if you're enjoying the video please give it a like and if you haven't already join the channel get subscribed and here we go guys one more point for today about tension what makes him so amazing for me it did not take long to notice this this was something that stood out very quickly and it is his creativity he does things which a lot of other fighters don't. And when you can bring a new element to the game, you can often surprise people. So the first clip I wanna show you as an example of what I'm talking about is Tension blocking a round kick. He blocks a round kick. Normally what we do from blocking the round kick is throw back our counter cross, or we'd block it and we'd scoop through and throw the counter low kick. Those are traditional things that work very well. But let's take a look at what Tension does. He sees the kick coming, he blocks, and he goes right into a spinning back fist. It's so unorthodox, it's so unique, and it's something that could actually end up scoring you knockdowns or throwing off your opponent's rhythm when you're able to do creative things like this. There's also another clip here I wanna show you guys when somebody comes in for the cross and then tension cartwheel kicks he moves his head off the center line and cartwheel kicks. I mean, cartwheel kicks are not the most effective technique by any means. I mean, people love when Sanchai does it, but how many times have you actually seen him hurt somebody? But it's because he doesn't really do it as a defensive technique, he does it as an offensive technique. But Tension here uses the cartwheel kick as a defensive technique. I've never seen this before. And once again, that shows creativity to a brand new level. This is just something that's just amazing. So if you guys have oddball things you like to do, which a lot of people don't know or recognize, or you feel like they'll give you a little edge. I say go for it. I know a lot of coaches will frown upon things that aren't the proper way, but you know, really for me, the thing is, does it work? Does it win you the fight? That's all that matters. I don't care if I'm doing things right or wrong. If I win the fight, I win the fight. That's what matters. And I get very, very frustrated when I have people message me and they're like, oh, you know, should I incorporate a sidekick into my routine? You know, my coach really hates when I do it, but it works for me. Like, yes, of course you should utilize that sidekick. And tension to me is just a great example. With the creativity he brings, it just shows you that if you have your own style, you have your own techniques and they work for you they can throw off your opponent they can score you knockdowns ultimately they will get you the win i love that tension brings this element to his kickboxing game i hope many more people see him and get inspired to be a little bit more creative and be less robotic like you know i have to stand here and this is the only thing i can do or i'm going to do this and that's the only thing i can do you have to be able to blend styles you know take little pieces and go oh, okay you know what i've caught the kick 
Maybe I caught a front kick instead of doing my normal thing of sweeping him. Yeah, maybe I'm going to pull him in and elbow. Or maybe I'm going to push him backwards and do a scissor kick. Something different that nobody has ever seen, nobody will expect. And oftentimes it will land because people just get thrown off. They're like, oh shoot, my leg's up in the air. They get pushed back and the guy does a scissor kick and all of a sudden it lands. To me, it's very impressive. I hope you guys are impressed by Tension's creativity as well. And guys, that's it for the video. Of course, I have so many more things I could go into that make him fantastic, but we're just doing five things today. So if you guys enjoyed the video, give it a like, join the channel, get subscribed, train hard guys. I'll see you back here soon for another video.